Hey guys, this is my 2021 Model S long range version and we are going to do a far overdue video based on the noise reduction software input that Tesla released a couple months back and I just haven't gotten around to the video. The other thing that's really exciting today is the entire video is going to be shot in 4K 60 frames per second. I know a number of you have requested this, so I'm going to finally do it today. We have a couple cameras set up for this shoot, and uh, this is going to be the first one at 60 frames per second. So I wanted to get an outside of the car here, exterior shot, to kind of show you the first area that we're going to be doing a check on the noise reduction. Uh, right now we are in a parking spot. Yes, I'm in the red because there's no parking spots here, but I'm going to jump in the car right away. So I shouldn't have any challenges with anyone, but I wanted to show you how there are a number of cars kind of passing by here. You can hear a little bit of road noise. This is going to be our first test at a dead stop. For those of you that saw my first video, I'll put the link below here. We did a uh, noise testing on decibels. Uh, directly from my Apple Watch, uh, based upon going um, um, at a dead stop, then 25 miles an hour, then 45 miles an hour, and then 70 miles an hour. So this is going to be the exact same roads, the exact same tests, so that we can really see how well the car did. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get started here. I want to show you how you can actually activate this and, um, and use it and explain how the technology works a little bit first. So right away, if you have your music player on, just go ahead and click on that, then click on the equalizer. Down here, you, you probably know you can adjust the tone, you can adjust all the, the balance and all those things. I'm gonna go to options here, and under the options area, you have the ability to activate uh, road noise reduction. And the, no, the road noise reduction will create what they call quiet zones near the headrests of the car. And um, in my opinion, it uh, actually doesn't do this too well. So that's part of the reason we're doing the video today. We're gonna look at the uh, noise reduction that appears in the car uh, based on what's going on here. So let's go ahead and activate that. And um, it's gonna set itself up. Um, I do have um, one thing that's really important to take note of is um, the, that Tesla has put two microphones in the car that are actually in the seat headrests. Only the front two seats can take advantage of this feature. And then what they do is they listen to high frequency road noise. And what they do with that information is then they pump sound through the speaker system in the car. So what I've done is I've got the actual music on pause but what I've done is I've made sure that the volume level is up high. So I have it up at a seven or eight. If you guys are familiar with Tesla, you'll understand what I'm talking about, but seven or eight um, that will actually uh, make the audio come out of the speaker. So hopefully that, that does the trick for us. Uh, but as I mentioned before, there's microphones embedded in the two front seats um, th that then they pump high frequency noise through the speakers um, to cancel that high frequency noise that you get um, on the road. And so this is supposed to do a better job of this. This was issued out in software update 2021.44.5 for those of you that are interested in which actual software update it had. And it only is available on the newest uh, Tesla Model S and Model X. So I do not think it's available on uh, Model Y or Model 3, unfortunately. Okay, guys, let's get started here. So our first test is at a dead stop, uh, just like we did last time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check this out. So as you can see, we do have some cars moving around outside of us. Again, these microphones are supposed to take advantage and um, get the high frequency noises from the outside traffic for what the microphones in the headrests hear and then be able to um, pump audio through the speakers that should take advantage of reducing the noise a bit. Um, I'm a bit skeptical to be honest with you but let's go ahead and give it a try. So we are at a dead stop, uh, not driving at all. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at my decibel reader right here on my Apple Watch. And because I'm talking, it's up pretty high, but let me go ahead and be quiet here and let's see what this comes in at. Okay, so the lowest I got was about 35. That is slightly lower than our original test. Our original test, we were getting readings between 36 and 38 decibels at a dead stop. So 35 is slightly lower. So let's go ahead and go on to the next test. But uh, this is pretty exciting to just see how well this is gonna take advantage again. I think this might be just more of a marketing thing. Okay guys, this is gonna be our first test at 25 miles an hour. What I'm gonna do is set the autopilot so that we know for sure we don't go over 25 miles an hour. Uh, so let's go ahead and get going here. Let me go ahead and set the autopilot and right at 25 here, whoops. There we go. And now let's go to and I'm gonna be quiet. Okay, so the reading I got on that was about 51 to 54 to 55 decibels. And actually that is higher than what we tested before. So that's very, very interesting. Um, so anyways, let's go on to the next test, which will be at 45 miles an hour. Okay, our next test is gonna be at 45 miles an hour. So we will be doing the same thing we did before, which will be setting the autopilot at 45 and see what the decibels come in at. All right, I'm gonna get the autopilot here engaged. And again, we'll set it to 45 miles an hour. Whoops. Didn't like the yellow light. Okay, 45. Here we go. Okay, let's do the decibel test now. Here we go. Okay, I think uh, the lowest reading we got there was 56, and it bounced around between 56 and 58 decibels. That is a bit lower than we tested before. Before our decibels came in in our first sample test there without the noise reduction, it came in between uh, 58 and 59 decibels. So the fact that we were at 56 is a pretty big improvement. So that's a <clears throat> positive check there. So overall, looking okay, but not as big of a reduction as I think we were all hoping for. Okay, we are in our final test here. Uh, we're just getting on the highway right now. We're gonna jump up to 70 miles per hour and we're gonna do another decibel test. Last time we got between 64 and 68 decibels at going uh, 70 miles per hour. So hopefully we can see an improvement here. So um, as you can see, I'll get on the autopilot here in a second. Uh, let me get on a, um, in the middle of the highway. That's where we typically will find um, not as many bumps and we wanna try to have as fair of a test as possible. So 
I'm going to go ahead and slide over to the middle lane here and then we'll set the autopilot. I might have to, might have to go to the far left lane to get up to 70 miles per hour uh, just because we're seeing a little bit of traffic here. Uh, but that shouldn't be a problem at all. So let me go ahead and slide into uh, this lane here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set the autopilot and we're gonna move it down to 70 exactly. Okay, we are in autopilot. Let's go ahead and look at the decibels now. Here we go. Okay, so the lowest that I saw it get to was about 65 decibels, and the highest I saw it get to was about 68 decibels. So that is not much better than what we got last time before we had a 64 to 68 decibels at this speed. Uh, let's do one more test here. Yeah, I'm not seeing it go anything lower than uh, 65 decibels. Um, in fact, right there, you probably saw the lowest I even saw was 66, uh, but the first time we got a 65. So overall, you know, the noise reduction that Tesla has, I'm really not seeing that big of an improvement. So I'm not sure if I'm not doing something correctly or if it's not set up properly, but overall, uh, I'm really not seeing that reduction. So I don't know if this was just more of a marketing thing that Tesla wanted to do, or if they're having bugs or challenges with uh, the particular technology. But as you guys all know, I'm trying to report the facts of what's happening in Tesla's, the goods and the bads, um, and really try to give you guys the straight information. Uh, but again, overall, I'm not seeing much of a reduction in this. We saw a few highlights here. I'll put up your chart here, uh, right now while I talk, but you can see a few highlights here where we did the first test at uh, zero miles an hour in a dead stop. Then we're going to 25 miles an hour. Um, and you can see the results we got out of that. Uh, then we went to 45 miles an hour and the results there as well. And last but not least, 70 miles an hour and the results we got on that. So overall, you know what? Um, and by the way, all the roads that I went on were the exact same roads that I did in the original test. And overall, I'm just not seeing a big enough uh, decrease uh, in the noise reduction with uh, this new uh, platform in there. So, you know, that's the fact, that's the truth. Um, hopefully you guys are seeing that as well. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Uh, if you haven't liked my videos, please like the videos. I'm doing this for all of you guys and myself. I just love the Tesla. Um, I love the Tesla Model S long range version, especially the refresh version. It's a great, great car, wonderful car. This particular feature, just not ideal. Anyways, uh, please like the video and subscribe to the, the video series if you haven't yet. Really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and thanks so much. Take care everyone.